everyone welcome back to yet another video in today's video i'm going to be talking about and showing you how to create your very own minecraft texture pack so that your game can go from this to this okay so this actually is not a texture pack that i created but i think you get the idea you can quite literally do anything you want with this tutorial i've definitely turned some food items into pasta dishes and um the totem of undying into shrek anyways without any further ado let's get into this video all right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Windows search bar and type in percentage app data percentage. This will bring up a path to a folder and then you just want to hit open folder. And this is where your .minecraft folder is located. So you're just going to open up that .minecraft folder and then open up the versions folder within that. Now your versions folder will have every version of Minecraft that you have launched in the launcher. If you want to make a texture pack for a different version than you see here, all you have to do is open up the Minecraft launcher and launch the game in the version that you want to make a texture pack in and it will automatically create a folder for that version. Anyways, I'm making a texture pack in 1.20, so I'm opening up the 1.20 folder, and then there is this executable jar file in there that says 1.20. I'm going to copy that over to my desktop, and this is where if you do not see at the end of the file name .jar, you're going to have to change a few things in the settings of your file explorer. So basically, all you're gonna do is hit view. After you hit view, you're gonna hit show, and then you wanna hit file name extensions. Now we want to edit the name and the reason we had to do that is because we want to edit the dot jar and change it to dot zip. When you do this it's going to warn you but we made a copy so it's totally fine to do whatever the frick we want to it we're not going to ruin the game. So hit yes. Now we have a zip file all you're going to do is extract the files by right clicking and clicking extract and this might take a little while but you know it's it's all good. Once you're done with that, you're going to open up that extracted file and you're going to delete everything except for the assets folder because it's like 21,000 items and we don't need those. So if we just open the assets folder and then the Minecraft folder within that, we will find a list of folders, including one called textures. Here is where everything we need to be editing is located. There may be some files in other folders, such as the sounds for mobs that can also be edited. And if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial for editing texture packs, just let me know in the comments below. But basically the block folder is going to have all of your block textures. And some of them are a bit interesting. For example, if you edit any wooden planks, all of the items that use that texture, including stairs, fences, and slabs, will also be edited. Really, you just have to play around with things until you have everything how you'd like it. There's also the item folder, and this has everything that you wouldn't ever really place down, so things like potions or food items. It also has the textures for armor when it's in your inventory, so you have to pay attention with some of the items. For example, if you edit the texture of armor as a model, you should also probably change the texture of armor as an item to match. Now I'm going to just show you a few basic ways you can edit these texture packs. For both ways, you'll need to use some sort of photo editing software such as Photoshop. And here I'm just going to open up the file for one of the blocks. As you can see, they're very small. These are 16 by 16 pixel blocks. So I'm just going to zoom in a ton. And the first way to edit is to use like a basic um, painting tool and then to reset the brush size to be one pixel. And that way you can just like pixel by pixel, edit the colors, change the colors, whatever you wanna do, change the texture up a little bit and still keep it in that 16 by 16 pixel Minecraft style. Here I'm just making a little heart on the jungle planks because I didn't know what else to do, just for an example. After that, all you wanna do is hit file, save as, and then make sure that you're saving it as the exact same name as the original blocks file and in the same folder. It's going to tell you that this file already exists and it's going to ask you if you'd like to replace it and hit yes, because we do want to replace this original file with our new texture. The next thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to just replace a block or an item with a picture. So I'm going to be replacing the potato with a pasta dish. So I've just gone on the internet and found a pasta dish that I liked, copied and pasted it in. When replacing textures with images from the internet, I found that the 16 by 16 size of these Minecraft items is way too small. So I often will resize the canvas and you might have to work with this a little bit. It just depends on how pixely you want your image to turn out. The more pixely you want it to be, the smaller the canvas should be. So after resizing mine a couple of times, I just kind of put the picture where I want it to be on the file and then I do the same thing. I override the original file with this new image. Finally, to finalize your texture pack, you're just going to open that folder back up 
and you're going to create a new text document. Next, you'll want to open the text document and hit File, Save As, and then name it pack.mcmeta. Then you're going to click on the Save As type and select All Files, and then just save it. After that, you're going to open up the pack.mcmeta file. You can use Notepad or you can use some text editing software. Notepad works fine though. And so I've inserted this text into my Notepad. I'm going to leave this in the description below along with some other resources for this part if you need help. Essentially, in the description where it says insert name here, you're just going to in between the quotations enter whatever you want the name of your pack to be. And then for pack format, you are going to put a number, but it's very specific depending on what version you're using. So I'm going to leave a link below to a wiki page that will hopefully be updated and will tell you what number to use for each version. For 1.20.1, the number was 15 though. And then you're just going to hit file and save that. Then you're going to select assets and pack.mcmeta. You're going to right click them and you're going to press compress to zip file. This will create a new zip file that you can name whatever you want, but this is the texture pack folder, so probably name it whatever you want to name your texture pack. And I just moved it to my desktop for easy use. Finally, you want to go back to that percentage app data percentage folder. And another way that you can do this is by opening up Minecraft, hitting options, resource packs, and then at the very bottom, you'll see a button that says open pack folder. If you're going with the percentage app data way, you just want to open the .minecraft folder and you'll see a resource packs folder in there. Then you're just going to drag the zip file that you created into the resource packs folder. To equip your texture pack, all you have to do is open Minecraft, select options, resource packs, and then scroll down the list to find your pack. Then hit the arrow on your resource pack and hit done to equip it. As you can see here, all of the items using the jungle planks texture do have that heart on it, as I mentioned earlier. It, I mean, it looks a little interesting. It, it looks more concerning in the inventory. And here we have the pasta. I love to place down an item frame and place the pasta on it because it literally looks like a plate in the game. Something I wanted to show you with using the images though, is that when you're holding those items that you use images for, the sides of it will always look weird. And the same goes for blocks as compared to like the beetroot that has like one color on the edge. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in a texture pack, let me know because I'll be creating a few. And if if you have any questions about how to do any of this, please let me know. I can give you more tutorials as I work on my own texture packs. And then on top of that, if you have any requests for any sort of video at all, just let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And if you found today's video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more. Have a wonderful day everybody and please remember to be good people, love others, and love yourself. Peace. I'm genuinely so excited about this pasta in Minecraft. I. I am such a pasta girly, I could eat pasta all day every day in this game.